This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, welcome to, yeah, you guessed it, another Rob Ranks. And again, you, you know it's not, okay, never mind. This one was probably one of the hardest for me to do. Uh, this actually took about a day and a half to put this list together. And um, this is Avalon Hill Games. Yeah, Avalon Hill's gone pretty much. But um, I'm talking about all the old games, the old box set games and things like that. And I started going through the hundreds and hundreds of games and I had to try to pick 15 games out of that. So I know a lot of you are going to go, oh my God, what about this? What about that? What about Betrayal on the Hill? What about... You can't fit them all. The ones that mean the most to me, now this is my opinion, and I put this list out there so we can discuss it. You can always leave things in the comments and, and give your thoughts. I always appreciate it and always enjoy it. But without further ado... Um, why don't we take a look at the 15 games that I picked here for Avalon Hill. Uh, well, and number 15 is Squad Leader. Yeah, Squad Leader, the original Squad Leader. Um, this was so innovative, so ahead of its time. It really, really was a fantastic system. All the, the, uh, the um, expansions that came for it, giving you different... Um, scenarios and different uh, um, different places and armies and, and and things like that it was just such a fantastic game uh, I, I just I can't say enough about the original uh, squad leader uh, box set game came in all the boxes and then you had you know cross of iron which was just fantastic crescendo of doom uh, there was just so much I can go on and on and number 14 is a game, a revolutionary war game that when I first played, I was completely blown away. And that's 1776. What a fantastic, fantastic experience. And if you have the means to try to hunt this down, I think it still holds up today. It is a just a wonderful, fantastic period piece and done so well. At number 13... This one, this one, I have spent many a night. This is a very hard game, and that's the Third Reich. The Third Reich is out there, great, fantastic, thematic, uh, time-consuming, life-consuming. You lay in bed thinking that, uh, about moves you made, uh, just everything you can want in a game, Third Reich at number 13. At number 12 is probably one of my favorite ship games I have ever played in my entire life. And that is Wooden Ships and Iron Men. Oh my god. Uh, I remember playing this as a young man. And oh, the nights I lost. Uh, the dates I canceled. <laughs> just to play this game. Really just... I, I was consumed with this game. And to this day is still one of my, one of my favorite ship games of all time. At number 11, boy, I had a hard time putting this one or or um, Stalingrad in. Uh, but I went with Russian Campaign. I thought the Russian Campaign was just a fantastic, fantastic game. Um, this is when they started, you know, really getting, building around the themes. I thought Stalingrad was fantastic. But Russian Campaign really stood out for me, and it's just one of those games that will always stick in my head as one of my favorites. At number 10, I think this is the beginning game. This is the benchmark for, for beginner games. It was blue versus red. Um, just all the early concepts of war gaming made simplistic that you know you can bring in a small child uh, and 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 they would understand it and play it 
uh, you know, child 10 to 14, somewhere in there. But, you know, it's a good starting point. And I still think it holds up today. That's Tactics 2. Tactics 2 is fantastic. What a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful game. And I highly, highly suggest it. And number nine, this has been done a few times and re remade a few times by this very company. And that's D-Day. I mean, D-Day is... I mean, you get... <sighs> Uh, just Avalon Hill at, at their best, at their peak of their powers, D-Day is just fantastic. At number eight is a tremendous, tremendous period piece. And today, people still talk about this game, and that is Circus Maximus. Uh, I mean, really, uh, wh what more can you say? about the old Roman Colosseum. Not too much. A fantastic and, and just wonderful, wonderful game. Number seven. Number seven, um, I, I, I put this in here even though there's another game close to it, and that's Panzer Blitz. Panzer Blitz is just... It, it, it was one of the first box set games I ever played as a young man. And uh, uh, I just, I was amazed and blown away by it. Playing all the scenarios out and how wonderful it is. I still have both uh, my, my copy today and I will never part with it. I love that game and will always, always be a part of my life. At number six, the original Civilization. <sighs> I'll tell you. Some of these games, and, and, and I'm going to kind of go off a little bit here, you know, as we're going through this list, it brings so many beautiful memories of playing these things. But to think how far and how, you know, this is all we had when we were younger. And in these games and these themes and the passion and, and, and the thematics and how you felt you were playing that, civilization or, or 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 time period and you would rush to the library to learn more about these these tanks and or these these squads or these or, or the greeks or the romans it's just a wonderful wonderful time for me and civilization whew, fantastic uh number five let me tell you something you want to talk about games that sucked you into uh something wizard's quest Wizard's Quest was wonderful. It was a wonderful time. It was the early times of D&D &D, and Wizard Quest did things that nobody else did and you felt it was your first kind of just overall fantasy experience and a beautiful role-playing experience at best uh, all captured in, in a bookshelf game. Uh, just amazing. Number four. Uh, I love the movies. Uh, I wish they did more with it. I love the book. Uh, how could you forget Starship Troopers? Starship Troopers was just fantastic. And just for me, oh, uh, just it made me read the book. Uh, playing the game made me read the book. And uh, it just sticks with me to this day. Starship Troopers is just so much fun and so fantastic. At number three, well, this is where at number 15 was Squad Leader. But the cult classic, the ever going and never to be stopped ever, and now even picked up by Multiman and even made even better, is Advanced Squad Leader. The groups, the passion, the people the everybody that's involved in this game this is a tremendous undertaking there are there are little there are many games to teach you the main game that's how intricate it is but if you want to get sucked into passion to understand every single weapon everything there is movement um just just how morale was was really developed with with a game and it really started with these squad leaders and i just have to say advanced squad leader classic and all-time great what more can i say at number two and number two is an absolute classic and um 
I, I, I hear they're supposed to bring it back only a, a, in a different form, and that's Dune. Dune was fantastic. Dune is an all-time classic, and I love it and always will. Another, another game that made me read the books, another game that sucked me into the movie and everything else, Dune. Uh, what more can I say at number two? And number one, uh, what can I say? I believe uh, one of my favorite games uh, because it ties in with uh, Panzer Blitz, and that is, yes, Panzer Leader. Uh, I, I still play this to this day. Uh, I love Panzer Leader. I love everything about it. Uh, there were so many games that I could have squeezed in at one, but, but, but for me, this was more of an emotional number one than to say it's the greatest Avalon Hill game of all time. Uh, I think it's really hard, especially when you have Panzer Blitz, Dune, and I mean, so many, you know, Advanced Squad Leader easily could have been easy number one. But for me, personally, a game that I played more than any of the other games is Panzer Leader. I taught my son Panzer Leader. I taught my daughter Panzer Leader. And for me, it holds a very special spot at number one. Do you disagree with this list? Did I miss something that you really think was better? Hey, I probably did. But there's only one way for me to know, and that's to leave it in the comments below. So, there you go. That's our list. That's Rob Rank's Avalon Hill. So, until the next one, it's your old pal Rob saying, we will see you soon.